All right, morning, my people. I'm out on the road, but you know that um, coaches this, we have to drop this video this morning just to let the people know what is happening. Now, Mikhail Antonio, yeah, man, West Ham striker, people, yeah, he has decided to switch allegiance from England to Jamaica. Um, this will also assist him in playing the 2022 World Cup. That's what he wants. Now, this player, big baller for West Ham United, people, he actually turned down a chance to play for the Reggae Boys in 2016. All right? Um, what had happened is that he was approached by big agent, big football person, Devon Porter people. Yeah, man. Devon Porter approached Mikel Antonio. A matter of fact, he approached him in 2015. Right? Um, he, he didn't show any interest there. 2016 again, Devon approached him and Mikel Antonio turned down the offer because he wanted a chance to play for England. What had happened is that um, the England manager then, um, Sam Allardyce, they invited him to a squad. You understand and um, Southgate which is Garrett he also invited him to, invited him to a squad and he did not make the cut so now the baller wants to play World Cup and of course Jamaica is the next team so yeah man he will a matter of fact he has accepted the latest approach from the federation open you'll be able to um play in especially in the qualifiers september between costa rica and mexico at that time so yeah people i know some of you are going to say that because in kiamic england side he might play for jamaica or he decides to play for jamaica listen to me man who want play international football remember it's football that feed him you know and to be playing on the international level will help your club career once he's eligible to play for Jamaica, why not? So we welcome Mikel Antonio playing for Jamaica. There's going to be a lot of naysayers, but I mean, um, what is to be must be. Now, he's 30 years old, right? Um, he has been playing very good football for, 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 for West Ham. A matter of fact, the Amers are in position to play Champions League football right now. Currently, they are in the Champions League position. Um, he missed the start of the campaign due to injury, but he has done a lot to assist the club, you know, um, in going forward. Now, why I believe that um, you'd have made this decision because you know England would have had a lot of options up front, people. Yeah. You have a, 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 a Hurricane, a Dominic Calvert-Lewin, a, a Danny Ings, you know what I mean? Um, so these are the persons that he's going up against. And I mean, you have Marcus Rashford, you have Ryan Sterling. So there, there are a lot of, 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 of upfront men that um, England would be able to have options from, you know what I mean? So you can't kill the man. The man who want to play some football and he's eligible to play for Jamaica. So I am with the move by Mikhail Antonio. Yes, man. Big up yourself, Devon Porter, for the initial move. And definitely, we hope that things will go through. We hope that the JFF will be following the news because that was uh, released on the Telegraph and the Daily Mail over there in England. You know what I mean? Now, what, 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 what happened also, people, is that after he was called up to the squad by Allardyce, um, he said, I turned on approach from Jamaica in March, and for this to happen so quickly, I'm buzzing. I just want to keep my feet on the floor. End of quote. You understand? That's that, that coming from, from, from the baller. Um, in his first season in the Premier League, even though... Um, he had good stats. The England manager would have had to take a risk on me. You understand? So definitely, 
he realized that for him to play for England, then it would be a big, big ask. So, it's a good move, a good ball, a 30-year-old. Yeah, man, we can take him, play for Jamaica, make him qualify for the World Cup. Yeah, and everybody happy. People, I have to keep on the mask without, without an office. Yeah, so sorry about the mask, but I have to keep it on, okay? Yeah, man. So, I mean, that's how it is. You understand? Mikel Antio, Antonio switch allegiance and wants to play for the reggae boys. JFF, you hear that? JFF, when you hear that? Sign him, JFF. Yeah, man. Yes, 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 yes. That's what you have to do. All right? Um, one other thing, people. There is uh, another Jamaican um, forward in Kemal Malcolm, people. Super agent Kevin Cohen strikes again. Yo, I'll be here. Things are going to be ball at them right now because guess what? The man actually is, 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 is off to El Salvador to join Malik Foster and, and uh, is it Malik Foster or Craig Foster? Yeah, man, one of, one of them ball at them. Yeah. One of them, one of them faster. There. Sorry, we can't remember everything because of the buzz around um, Mikel Antonio. Yeah, I'm not really um, getting it right now. But, um, yeah, and also Meshi Marsh. So he would have joined these persons um, in that um, club right now. And it's a good move for him. He would have last played for Arnett Gardens. And of course, everybody knows that he's coming from also St. George's College under the tutelage of Neverbell. So, big ups to Kevin Cohen again for doing such a wonderful job in getting his players, his ballers, yeah, out of the country. You have Peter McGregor, you have um, Shamar Nicholson, you have uh, Meshi Marsh, no, 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 Kemal Malcolm. Kevin Cohen, continue to do what you're doing, Virgin. Yeah, man. You're working quietly behind the scenes, and it's a good look for the ball as them. Yeah, man, it's a good look for the ball as them. No doubt about that. Yeah, man. So, people, thanks again for tuning in to the coaches. This. Yeah, man. Sorry about what is happening here now, but I mean, I'm trying to take it differently, but I'm in an office, so I have to abide by the rules. Yeah, people are passed back and forth, so I can't take off my mask. You know what I mean? So it's 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 indeed a good, good, good look for 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 Jamaica football right now. I hope um, mm. the JFF do what they do very early, speedily, and quickly to ensure that Mikhail Antonio will be suited out in that reggae boys color yeah yellow green and black some people say gold green and black whatever whatever you call it it is the same thing you know what i mean my people so thanks again for tuning in to the coach's desk yeah man and there's also another young player um who was signed for a uh, collegiate football club um team sorry um, he is Asani Brown. Uh, he played for St. Catherine High and St. Catherine High people won the Walker Cup competition the last time football was played in schoolboy football. So kudos to that young player. He would have, yeah, yeah man, as I was saying, sorry about that, I got disconnected, yeah man. He was talking about, um, I was talking about Asani Brown, yeah man, North Oklahoma College, um, otherwise known as the Mavericks, yeah man. So, it's a big move for, the, uh, for, for another Jamaican. Yo, things are just happening for these youngsters. Things are just happening for the footballers. I could just work with it, people. Work with it. Throw all your support behind the team. And again, big up to Devon Porter for the wonderful job that he has been doing over the years with these um, contacts that he would have been making. Also, Simon Preston, big up yourself too, because you would have also been making... Um, some big contacts as well and people one last thing before we jump out of here because 
I'm not in my space. So one more um, thing before we jump out. Isaac Aiden is in the final stage of making a decision. A decision is imminent, people. So watch this space for that decision when it comes on to Isaac Aiden. Thanks again for tuning in to the coach's desk. Yeah, man, my people. Thanks for the support. And continue to do what you're doing. Enjoy yourselves. Have a safe day.